Well, according to the National Cancer Institute, doctors will diagnose more than 1.7 million new cases of cancer this year. But an emerging treatment option is offering many of those people hope. In this morning's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow explains how the body's natural defenses can be used to fight cancer. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. It's called immunotherapy, a treatment option that helps the body's own immune system attack cancer cells. And doctors here in Columbia are seeing its success firsthand. Ruth Wright uses poetry to show her appreciation to her doctor. Sindhu sing your life is a song thrust into the universe with love and energy. Practice that's helped her through the happy times and the hard ones. When I first saw her, I said, if we don't do anything, how long have I gotten? She said six months. In 2017, Ruth learned her breast cancer had spread to her lungs, lymph nodes, and brain. The 76-year-old insisted she did not want chemotherapy or radiation. And the people that I'd seen who were undergoing chemotherapy and stuff were not enjoying their lives. So Dr. Sindhu Singh, an oncologist with University of Missouri Healthcare, tried something else, immunotherapy. So immune therapy does not attack cancer by itself. It primes your own immune system to fight cancer. Every three weeks, Ruth comes to Ellis Fischel Cancer Center for an infusion of an immunotherapy drug known as a checkpoint inhibitor. Some cancer cells are able to step on an immune cell break called a checkpoint, stopping the immune system from attacking. Checkpoint inhibitors release the break, allowing the immune system to swing back into action. Ruth's only side effect has been some tiredness, and over the past year, her tumors have virtually disappeared. Previously, I used to think that there is no way to cure a triple negative breast cancer. The PET scan done today looks great. Dr. Singh believes immunotherapy will be the future of cancer treatment, used in combination with chemotherapy and radiation. The cure is possible. We cannot get 100% cure right now, but that's what we are working towards in the next 10 years, 20 years. For Ruth, immunotherapy was the right decision. It's been more than a year now since doctors gave her just months to live. This is the day that I've got, and I'm gonna enjoy it. Appreciating the beauty of every extra day. Joining me now is Dr. Sindhu Singh, an oncologist here at MU Healthcare. And tell me a little bit about what you learned from Ruth. She had some pretty clear ideas about the quality of life she wanted. What I learned was it's extremely important to honor patients' wishes. She absolutely did not want any chemotherapy or radiation. And at that point, I looked into the different trials that are present in U.S. and what I could get for her. And then I advised her immune therapy based on that data. And that worked really well for her. Is immunotherapy for the few or is it being wide? widely used now? Now the use is ever expanding. We are using lung cancers, colon cancers, kidney cancers, bladder cancer, and the indications are expanding. How is the treatment unique here at an academic health center like MU Healthcare? So it's unique because we have a multidisciplinary team. We have our tumor boards where each patient is discussed. We, the pathologists, the radiation oncologists, the surgeons, the medical oncologists all sit together and brainstorm what best treatment we can give this patient. So that's what is unique about us. And we're so glad Ruth had such a positive outcome to this point. Yes, I'm glad and she's still going strong. Okay, thank you. you. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow.